Yes. We have a lot of smart people in this room, really smart people. We have a lot of people that are good people, big hearts. They want to get it done. I think almost everybody, I, I can think of one or two I don't particularly like, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think everybody. Look, Henry, everybody wants a solution. I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, everybody wants a solution. You want it, Henry, yes, and I want it. I think we have a great group of people to sit down and get this done. In fact, when the media leaves, which I think should be probably pretty soon. <laughs> but I liked, but I, I will tell you, I liked opening it up to the media because I think they see more than anything else that we're all very much on a similar page, not the same page. And Henry, I think we can really get something done. Yes, sir. So why don't we ask the media to leave? We appreciate you being here. Very Thank you. Very Mr. President, Mr. President, just to clarify, is there any, is there any agreement without the wall? No, there wouldn't be. The wall has to be there. Have to. You need it. John, you need the wall. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. I'd love not to build the wall, but you need the wall. And I will tell you this, the ICE officers and the Border Patrol agents, I had them just recently up. They say, if you don't have the wall, you know, in certain areas, obviously, that aren't protected by nature, if you don't have the wall, you cannot have security. You just can't have it. It doesn't work. And part of the problem we have is, Walls and fences that we currently have are in very bad shape. They're broken. We have to get them fixed or rebuilt. But, you know, you, you speak to the agents, and I spoke to all of them. I spoke, I lived with them. They endorsed me for president, which they've never done before, the Border Patrol agents and ICE. They both endorsed Trump, and they never did that before. And I have a great relationship with them. They say, sir, without the wall, security doesn't work. We're all wasting time. Now, that doesn't mean 2,000 miles of wall, because you just don't need that because of nature, because of mountains and rivers and lots of other things. But we need a certain portion of that border to have the wall. If we don't have it, you can never have security. Uh, you can never stop that portion of drugs that comes through that area. Yes, it comes through planes and lots of other ways, and ships. But a lot of it comes through the southern border. You can never fix the situation without additional wall. And we have to fix existing wall that we already have. So you would not support what Senator Feinstein asked you, which would be a clean DACA bill that doesn't... No, I think a clean DACA bill to me is a DACA bill where we take care of the 800,000 people. They're actually not necessarily young people. Everyone talks about young. You know, they could be 40 years old, 41 years old. But they're also 16 years old. But I think, to me, a clean bill is a bill of DACA. We take care of them, and we also take care of security. That's very important. And I think the Democrats want security, too. I mean, we started off with Steny saying, we want security also. Everybody wants security. And then we can go to comprehensive later on, and maybe that is a longer subject and a bigger subject, and I think we can get that done, too.